Okay, let's take a look at transporter dealing with uh, green screen footage first. Just go ahead and apply this to the storyline. And the first thing you're going to want to do is add the keyer. All right. Now you have a couple of different options here. You can go into the video transform to position this, but it's actually built into transporter. So if I go back to transporter effect and add it afterwards, I'm going to temporarily hide it and to scale our source media, just use the source position Z. And uh, I can scale this up a little bit by bringing Z into the positive. And I can position him in the room with the X and the Y. I'm just moving him off center a little bit for demonstration purposes here. Okay. Now, the transporter effect actually takes pretty much the whole length of whatever the clip is and I've got this design so what you'll end up doing is cutting about two to five seconds off the beginning making another cut about two to five seconds before the end after you get everything positioned in your scene and then using this same transporter effect that's already been altered for the positioning and maybe some of these other features first. Those should be self-explanatory. I'll just come in here, blade here, and then blade here, the clip. All right. For this center section, I'll just go ahead and hide the transporter effect. And it goes away, so it'll just play normally. The beginning, I'm going to center it up over the subject here. I can use the X scale to trim him up a little bit and the Y scale to stretch this up a little bit. I don't want that much Y scale. Just want a little bit to go off the top of, just a little bit a little wider. All right. So this side will play in. And I'll set this side. Well, we can do this a little differently if you want to. Uh, if the on-screen control doesn't appear, make sure you click the transporter effect bar here and it will come back. So I had trim this in a little bit. Little bit of Y scale. Pull this up a little bit. I can change the color with the color shift and change the direction to beam out. There's um, some blend options here for you to play with. And so now you'll beam out. There is also going to be a transporter effect sound effect that I created in Logic. You can just line that up under your cuts and change the uh, speed a little bit on it. And one for the end. Hold down the Option key to duplicate the clip. This one's a little longer, so Command R to retime and drag this out a little bit. And let's just play through real quick. Normally, you would build a whole frame. Actually, I'll be covering it in this next section real quick. Okay. So that's the basic transporter effect, and that's used with green screen. 
Let's go to how to deal with a jump cut. So I've got a clip here from Stachyon. It's a really nice clip for this kind of effect. Add it to the storyline here. Now here's the deal. Notice that the background in this hardly changes over the entire span of this clip. I mean, we're talking about like steam rising from these stacks back here in the background and it's it's not moving much at all. So this is really a nice clip to use this effect with. So there's no bike in the scene here and we want to beam this guy down right about here. So I'm going to blade through this here and I'm going to go to the beginning of this clip type the up arrow shift H will create a whole frame and we'll just go ahead and make this large if I click on this bar holding down the option key I'll get a play range I can type the down arrow and then blade to cut this hold section and I can just delete this now for this next section for the first frame in this section do the same thing do a hold And you can drag this out somewhat. Option click on the bar, down arrow, command B, and I have my next frame. I'm bringing this up over here and apply the transporter effect to it. I'm going to line this up with our subject. Doesn't need to be that wide, so I'll scale it in some. I'll use shine too. Do a little color shift. And now we have our biker transporting into the scene and then taking off. All right, now you'll notice here that when it comes to the end and the biker is if I, in the scene, if I turn this bottom section off, you'll see that you've got, this is what you're looking at. You have the um, source video that's masked out against the background here and as soon as you go as soon as the uh, mask is gone I gotta figure out what's happening to him hang on a second let's go and hold down the N key and back that up so that they sync there we go You'll notice that the shadow right here that he casts just blips into the scene. It, it, it becomes very noticeable. So what I'm going to do is uh, duplicate this clip again. Hold down the N key and drag it so that they align. All right, so this is our top clip. This is fine. For the second clip here, I'm going to just go ahead and hide the transporter effect. And that's going to bring back our shadows. I can't make this quite as long, so what I'm going to do is shorten it about halfway, uh, about a third of the way, and add a fade in. So at the end of the transporter effect, the shadows should start coming in and blending gradually and then our guy takes off and so when we look at this as the whole effect okay add the sound effect
tighten it up a little, but that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoy it, and I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks so much for watching, and please subscribe.